Hey guys, it's General Heat here. How's everyone doing today? So, for today's video, I'm going to be showing you guys a little tutorial about how to play Halo 2 Anniversary's classic cutscenes, but in anniversary graphics on MCC PC. Now, I'm not talking about like the actual blur anniversary cinematics. Those are pre-rendered movies, essentially. Like, they're pretty much just video files being played. I'm talking about the actual in-engine cutscenes. The actual, you know, like, real-time classic cutscenes, but with the actual, like, you know, the, the anniversary graphics that you see in gameplay for those cutscenes. Now, you've probably seen, like, you know, these cutscenes before somewhere on YouTube, probably. And if you haven't, you could definitely uh, go check it out on YouTube and watch, like, all the cutscenes and anniversary graphics, all the classic cutscenes and anniversary graphics, because I'm not going to be showing all of them for this video. This video is just going to be focused on showing you how you can do it yourself if you, if you actually want to try it on your own. So, here's what you got to do. Obviously, this has to be done on the PC version of MCC, preferably the Steam version. And all you got to do is just go into your MCC folder where it's installed, and then go into the, um, the Halo 2 folder, and once you're in the Halo 2 folder, what you want to do is go to the pre-build folder. And inside the pre-build folder, you're going to see this video folder here. This is a very important folder. So contained within this folder is all the actual blur anniversary cutscenes. You know, all the uh, pre-rendered cinematics. And, you know, they're all stored here as Bink 2 video files. So, I mean, you could just delete all these files and it would work fine. But the easiest way to do this is just to go back to the previous folder and rename that video folder. Just, you know, add something at the end of it. Just, uh, whatever you change it to, once you're done, you know, doing this trick, this little, uh, method, just make sure to change the name back so you could have the anniversary cutscenes again. But, yeah, that's all you gotta do. Just, uh, rename it to something else. It doesn't have to be exactly what I named it to, but that's just an example. Like I said, just remember to change it back later. So once you've renamed that, just go into MCC. Uh, I think you gotta do anti-cheat off, um, but once you're on uh, MCC, just you know go into Halo 2 and pick any mission you want. Now you should start it in classic graphics first, actually, because if you do anniversary graphics first, I mean it'll still work, but you're gonna have like a black screen, and if you don't realize it right away, then you actually miss some of the cutscene. So if you get the black screen and anniversary graphics, if you you know if you start up in anniversary graphics, you just gotta switch to classic and then switch back. Whereas if you start up in classic graphics, you just simply got to switch to anniversary. So it's just one less step if you start up in classic first. So once you switch to anniversary, there you go. Now there won't be any sound if you do it this way, but you will be able to watch the um, you know the the actual real real time classic cutscene animations and everything, but using the anniversary textures and all. So as you can see, it uh it works pretty well for some cutscenes, and there are a few things. Actually, there's a lot of things missing from a lot of cutscenes. The reason why is because, well, you know, that they... My, my guess, I, I've mentioned this in a few previous videos before, actually, but my guess is that at some point early in development, they were thinking of just doing like what they did with Halo 1 Anniversary, Halo CE Anniversary, and just, you know, using anniversary textures on the uh, classic cutscenes, with maybe a few things changed here or there. But I guess they decided to go the uh, blur pre-render cinematics instead, and that's why you know maybe some things work alright in the uh, anniversary cuts in these uh, remastered graphics, but a lot of things are still missing because they um, they never like finished a lot of it, and other things like work obviously because a lot of the models and textures are actually used in gameplay. So because they're used in gameplay, they uh, they obviously exist in the uh, cutscenes as well. But there are a few things in cutscenes that do have models, maybe untextured, that aren't used at all in gameplay. So that that's you know a sign that at some point they were planning to use you know the this method for the cutscenes, but they changed it to the blur cutscenes. But like I said, some cutscenes do work better than others, especially um, especially the ones that use like a lot more gameplay stuff in it, like on the mission high charity, you know, like the beginning. Pretty much everything used in the cutscene was also used in gameplay, and that's why it worked fine for the most part. But other cutscenes like this, like stuff like the the hangar of the Fort of the Dawn, you never see that in gameplay, so that's why it's uh, pretty much like almost nothing, just all untextured. But yeah, so there you guys have it. That is how you can play the original classic cutscenes in the remastered anniversary graphics on MCC PC. 
Now, like I said, if you do want to watch all the cutscenes like this, then you can definitely check it out on YouTube. Uh, Game Cheat 13 actually does have a video with all the cutscenes like this, so definitely do check it out. But aside from that, if you did enjoy this video, make sure to leave a like. I'll leave thoughts in the comments, and if you guys want to check it out and look into, just let me know. But other than that, if you haven't already, make sure to subscribe, and I'll see you all next time. Bye, guys!